So as a first step in creating the mesh for the I-beam, we will let the ANSYS Auto Mesher do its work. So we do that by right-clicking on Mesh and Generate Mesh. Now the first thing you may notice are a few odd-looking elements here and there. As a way of quantifying the quality of the mesh, we're going to look at something called skewness. And we get there by highlighting mesh and going under statistics, maximize that window, and mesh metric. We change it from none to skewness. And what skewness is, is a method of quantizing how precise the elements are, either hexagonal or triangular, how close they are to being perfect elements. What you want to see is this chart having large numbers on the left side near zero. This means that there is low skewness throughout the mesh. And low skewness means the elements are very close to perfect, which translates into a higher accuracy solution. Now the first thing we might want to look at is the sizing that the auto mesher chose. So it based it off of curvature. It's using this as a tool for creating the mesh. And one thing we might want to change around a little bit is the curvature normal angle. And what this is, is setting the angle, the allowable angle for each element. So in order to improve the mesh, we can switch this angle around. I found that switching this to 34 degrees gives me a fairly nice mesh, or less skew mesh. So now you can see you have a lot less skewed elements, and they're shifted more towards the zero side of the skewness graph. And you also might notice that it divided the geometry into many different sections. And this is called a sweep method. For the later section of validation and verification, we may want to increase the number of sweeps it does. This basically gives us a clearer understanding of what happens as the load is translated through the I-beam from the point of load to the fixed end. This is done by right-clicking on Mesh and hitting Insert Method. Now we want to select the entire body. Click Apply and change the method from Automatic to Sweep. And then it's program controlled so it will select a source and a target. The source and the target define where the sweep starts and where the sweep ends. And what the sweep method does is creates a mesh for one cross-section piece of the I-beam and then spreads it out through a certain number of divisions which you can set here. Number of divisions and set here. And again for the verification and validation section we will alter this method and see if our mesh, mesh improves. So again, we right click and generate the mesh. And as you can see, nothing has changed because we let the default sweep method do its job, which is what the ANSYS Auto Mesher chose to do in the first place.